from the reference picture, you can see that it is, uh, it is uh, what is it? a container, an ice cream container, right? So uh, we first have to identify the shape that we can use to create such an object. So here are all the shapes, right? So um, we have two options. We can choose the tube or the cylinder, right? You can choose the tube or the cylinder. They will all work, but how efficient or fast can it go? That is what you will have to, you know, to look at. So for me, we'll have to select the cylinder because uh, from the point of view, the cylinder will be much faster. <clears throat> The cylinder will be much faster uh, using it. So now that I have my cylinder selected, uh, what I will do is to go to my front view by pressing the middle mouse button. Just go to the front view, and then uh, yeah, try to reduce the the height first. Just trying to reduce reduce the uh, the height. So, uh, reducing the height to, let's say, 140. I always like to be very precise in my measurement. So, now, see something. With this, I already have my cover. Like, I have my, my complete thing. Mm -hmm. With this, I already have my complete, uh, my complete stuff. So what I'm going to do is to duplicate this by control, holding down the control and dragging it. Then reduce the segment, uh, making the segment into one, uh, sorry, one. And then reduce the height, okay. And bringing it to this, right? So, as I reduce the height, then I just open up a little. Okay. As like so. Now, I believe this is our product, right? I believe this is our product, but well, it's not that done. Of course, it's not done. Now we are coming to model it. So for us to model it to the shape, right? Model to model it to the shape that we that is here. What do we do? We have to convert the primitive into an editable object. So uh, by converting, you just press the C on the keyboard, the C button on the keyboard. Then you have it converted. The top one to likewise C. Then it's get is converted now i come to my point my point mode selecting the top of one well, for the um let's hide the cover first um now that i'm in my point mode what i'm going to do is to select my rectangle selection too and select all these points over here right the reason being is that we are coming to shrink right we are coming to shrink this side by scaling it uh, scaling it down sorry yeah, yeah. scaling it down I hope you see. So, shrinking it to this. Uh, 
All right. So uh, here we have our from the reference. Where are you? Uh, yeah. From the reference. Here we have it. Okay. So uh, now the next thing I will have to do is to delete this node over here. All right. To delete this node over here and then. Um, Go to my line mode, double click, to select, and then drag it to the top and because of the power. So drag it to here, something like this. It's not bad. Something like that. Uh, scale it a little. Bring it gently up. Okay, so here we have it. Now I'm going to call in my uh, nice two. I'm going to call in my nice two to, to segmentize this side. So KL for the loop cut. All right, so I have this, all these points available now for me. And then, yeah. So that's pretty much, that's pretty much the ish. And then put it inside a strip nerve. Yeah. So, uh, sorry, a subdivision surface. So now that I have it in the subdivision surface, what I'm going to do is to have a proper cut, to have a balance down, just as the preference of the image showed us. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Maintaining this for now. Hiding this subdivision, going to my face selection mode, UL, for the loop selection. That's this icon over here. So now that I have this, what I'm going to do is to uh, hold on. I just have to cut first a portion. So I believe this portion is okay. Yeah, I believe this portion is okay. So uh, just have to increase it a little to like. 65, 65, then, yeah, and UL for my loop selection to uh, select this, select this, select this. Now that I have it selected, what I'm going to do is to extrude it, right? I will manually extrude it by holding down control and then dragging it upwards right control and dragging it upwards right so as i have it like so then let me activate yeah that's good okay so now that i have it this way i come to my front view to have it well leveled Okay, the reason why I did that is because we are going to to uh, mold up the surface. So, Control A, 
control it to select all the surface then i put in my extrude again this time around not manual but um automated right so now this create cap is going to give us the do you see it the embold right the thickness so as we have it here like so right so now we have it in bold, but I will prefer it to be like 1.5. The thickness to be 1.5. Yeah. So that's that's cool. All right. And now, uh, what I'm going to do is to put in my front view. See. Okay. Right. And this we don't want it right we don't want it to repeat from the inner so what we're going to do now is to bring it upwards so uh, i'll call in my loop selection call in my loop selection to select first all this try as much as possible to get this point uh where are you yeah okay this is exactly where i was supposed to take it up from where are you Okay. Okay, so um have this bring it up. Okay, so flatten it over here. Uh, there is a portion that we've not selected over here, which, yeah, this is the line. This is the line, so, yeah. Okay, so, all right. Okay, so there's, yeah. So here we have, we have them exactly in a good notes. We're supposed to do the extraction first before, right? We're supposed to do the extraction first before uh, doing the cut. That's why we have this many uh joint over here running over okay so yeah so here we have it we have our inner where are you uh yeah here we have our inner of course, we are going to work at it, right? There, there is a lot to, to be done. So let me look selection. First of all, invert. Yeah. Yeah. 
Now we are going to give it the shape that we want. Uh, Okay, so one over here, right in the middle. All right, so we come to the front here and create our edge cut. First edge part, then the inner edge part to bring in the yeah. So here we have it. Now we are going to the cover, which uh, yeah. Uh, before I forget. First of all, we have to delete this, and then uh, Control A, optimize. The first one we did not optimize it, so uh, it created a double line, a double track line actually. So the optimizing is to make sure these nodes, these points are connected, right? The top here is connected to this body over here. Right, so that's uh, that's a mistake I did earlier on. That gave us that double um, what was the name? Uh, the double lines that I had to waste time on. Right, so remember so that you don't do the same mistake. Okay, so uh, yeah, now we have uh, we have this. Yeah, uh, the face control A to select all, then do the extrusion again. Of course, uh, this time around, instead of negative, we'll make it positive. So positive 1.5. So bam, there we have it, all right? So as you can see, covering, covering it completely, all right? So let's put it in a, subdivision surface of course will be uh what's the name we'll be doing a lot of cuts to make sure that it comes to life so adding the subdivision calling in our knife selecting it uh in our knife and then making sure we have a proper subdivision at the top here Okay, so yeah. Now uh, the first edge, going to do our first edge cut. Our first edge cut, and then uh, go to our front view. You see the difference between the one, the inner, and then the outer, all right? So we'll go in and then drop this particular one a little bit down, all right? So uh, let's select this and then call in our selector, then drop it. Right, right here. All right, so now that we have it well uh, positioned, now we can 
do our extrusion. Uh, the loop selection to again select, 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 and then extrude manual, control, drag for us to see from here, from our from view, how deep. Okay. All right. So then at this point is okay. Now calling in our yeah, as you can see now it is well covered. And then um you will on select this scale it. It and then select it again and then spill it. Okay. All right, to so have a little bit of thickness at the edge. So you select this, you select uh, this uh, as well, and then. Control, drag it a little bit up. Let's see the height. We don't want it to be too much to the top. That's okay. All right. Then yeah. Okay. So we go to go. We have it done. So yeah. So like so. Now we are going to give our cuts to make sure that they are well proportioned and uh, well structured. So, uh, well, first cut. Then the outer, uh, let's center it and double it. Try it as well. Let's have our, our inner cards. Ninety five, two. So we have, yeah, good. Now the down, yeah, the inner, my first of all, outer, double up. 